Uh, it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, you come through clearly for a bit and then it kind of starts crackling up. Uh, for the most part, I can now uh, read you quite clearly. Um, I'd say somewhere around S7, if I had to guess. Uh, I'm not too good with the, the charts just yet. Well, how about the quieting? The FM quieting, a lot of static, a lot of hits and all that. Yeah, there's a fair amount. Uh, that last transmission you had there, you're coming in quite a bit louder than the static, so I was able to understand you fully. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we got a major, major electrical storm going on here right now on radio. We're under a tornado watch, so it could be a lot of QRM in the background. Up with us. Usually it's like the RPM, the RPM, the RPM, the RPM, the RPM. Never know, eh? No, for sure. Yeah, we actually just had a fairly decent sized storm pass through. Uh, it was sunny here for a moment, but it just started clotting over again. We had a little bit of thunder and lightning and some uh, pretty heavy rain about an uh, hour and a half, two hours ago. It's kind of cleared up now. Uh, it's pretty crazy under a tornado warning, though. Yeah, indeed. So, about barrier, I only have um, the PL encoding turned on. I never thought to turn on both encoding and decoding. I wonder if they have it both block, receive, and transmit, but I'm not sure if that makes sense, because I can, I can get like a full 10 over 9 return on the receiver, but all I hear is static. Is that what you hear too? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. I'm not too sure what the, what the actual uh, strength is coming back. Um, the, the meter on this radio, I don't, I, and they, either, either I don't know how to read it properly or... Uh, it's not very good, but uh, um, that last transmission there actually was pretty much perfectly clear. Uh, maybe a 1 out of 10 for how much static was on it. Oh, that's weird. I, conditions are changing. I'm, I'm used to that on HF, but not so much on VHF. Okay, that's kind of wild. Yeah, I suppose that's an experiment we could try, is turning on both encoding and decoding on 131.8 and see if we can talk to each other that way. I haven't run into that yet with the repeater, but this might be the first one. Yeah, I got it up in uh, repeater book on my laptop right now. It just says uh, 147.030 minus uh, PL 131.8. Uh, call sign use is open, status is on air. Uh, South South Calgary to Lacombe and North North Banff NP wide area coverage. Wild Rose Networks. Uh, see see all Wild Rose Rose repeaters. Uh, solar power doesn't give anything about encoding or decoding or anything like that. So. Uh, I don't know. the The coverage map doesn't show anything though, so it's hard to say. That's uh, weird. I don't know. Any, I don't know too much about the encoding and decoding and whatnot though. Well, the fact that when I hit it, it bounces back a return uh, unmodulated carrier that basically pins my meter tells me it's not a signal strength issue. I just don't know why we can't talk on it. Yeah, maybe we give uh, Harry a shout and see if we can uh, find out. Actually, let me get send him a text message here and see if we can get him on uh, on this station here. Hey, 